Nano Brown Boxing, I'm back in the building. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. So it's Monday morning, and you know it's been it's been a good what 36 plus hour period since the Earl Spence uh, versus Lamont Peterson fight. You know the fight, the fight's results, the fight in its entirety has some time to marinate amongst the boxing fans and. We've seen everyone's different uh, opinions on it, how people were, you know, they enjoyed the fight. Some people said it was still a mismatch or whatever the feedback people had about this fight. The fight is over with. We know the result. So my question is, what's next for Earl Spence? Now, I was looking at the IBF rankings on this past Sunday, so yesterday, and I'm trying to figure out um, what is the IBF about to do with those two available spots? So the number one rank and the number two ranking for the IBF is currently open. Now, if I was the IBF, I would, you know, I would decide to mix it up a bit because it's obvious, it's pretty damn obvious that a lot of these guys that are currently ranked by the IBF, they don't want any parts of Earl Spence Jr. So, the question is, IBF, like, who are you going to have? You know, if you keep, if you keep going down your rankings, and everyone's ducking and dodging, and no one wants to get in the ring with Earl Spence. And the lower you get in the rankings, you know, you're getting, it, you're pulling out guys that are most likely the least experienced, or they have a lower skill set, and the possibility of them wanting to get in the ring with Earl Spence is pretty much slim to none. So, you had a guy like Sean Porter, the former IBF world champion, say this past weekend, the reason Earl Spence isn't on his radar is because he's not ranked by the IBF. Well, IBF, I propose this to you. You know, you, you're you a sanctioned body. Your sole purpose is to pretty much make money. You're a business, I get it. You're gonna make more money by putting Sean Porter in your rankings, and let's say if, and I don't think this is gonna happen, but anything is possible. If Sean Porter and Earl Spence for the fight, IBF, it's in your best interest to match, you know, to make him the mandatory for the simple fact, Sean Porter is the only other guy is the only person that you can put in the rankings that will be able to command a high enough purse so to pay for sanctioning fees to benefit the IBF. Now, me personally, do I care about that? Absolutely not. I really give two, two dams about what these guys make. I'm not the type of man to be in another man's pocket. I leave that up to the other guys. But put Sean Porter in the, um, as the number one ranked fighter. You put him as the number one ranked fighter, will you... I think, like, from my understanding, fighters, they have to put in to be ranked or whatever the case may be. Extend an invitation. Put them there. Whatever you have to do, put Sean Porter in a position where he can no longer say he's not taking that Earl Spence fight because he's not ranked. Because at this point in time, you know, the Porters, have, they brushed up on it a little bit. Well, they touched on it a little bit that it's a possibility that they won't be fighting Keith Thurman next. Now, I don't know if Keith Thurman is fighting Jesse uh, Vargas or who is his comeback fight is going to be against. But we just need to put the Porters on blast. And not necessarily put them on blast. I mean, do I believe that it was wrong for Sean Porter to be taken out of the IBF rankings after he lost to Kell Brook? Absolutely. But now at this point, you know, if he really wants that opportunity, if he really wants to be put in a position where he can be a champion as soon as possible or be a champion again in general, we all know Keith sometime Thurman, Keith Duck time Thurman, he's not about, uh, he's going to do things to the beat of his own drum. Now, when it's in certain situations, like, I get it, and I can respect that. But in this situation of boxing, Sean Porter, it's no guarantee that you're going to be Keith Thurman's mandatory. You may have to go through Danny. You may have to go through Danny Garcia. You may get skipped over in its entirety. You know, per WBC rules, um, the WBC can make anyone in the top ten. I believe. I know for a fact it's the top five, but I believe it's the top ten. The WBC can make that person so rank number ten, nine, eight, seven, six, all the way up to one. They can make that person the mandatory. So rank whoever's ranked number seven by the WBC 
can be named the mandatory for Keith Thurman, completely skipping over Sean Porter. Sean Porter wasn't named the mandatory. He's the number one ranked WBC fighter. So I think people have a little bit of confusion with that, but Sean Porter and Kenny Porter need to get you know that through their head because I know I heard somewhere that Kenny Porter said that in order for um, Thurman to fight somebody else next to have a tune-up fight, they gotta they have the Porters have to approve it, which is complete BS. So I mean, we'll see what happens. Now getting back to the whole Earl Spence topic, you know, there's plenty of guys in the IBF. Do I believe that any of those guys are going to take the fight? At this point, the seeing, seeing the dominance that um, Earl Spence had over Lamont Peterson, the chances of these guys taking that fight is pretty much slim to damn none. So, it just has to be one of those situations where, um, I don't know, IBF or Earl Spence, they just have to get creative. You know, I heard a guy, uh, Luis Colazzo called out Earl Spence about a couple of months back. I can't remember exactly who, but someone else called Earl Spence out or they said I'll be willing to fight Earl Spence. I heard that like in the last two weeks or so. I got to go back and check that out. If y'all know who it is, the other person that called out Earl Spence, put it in the comments section. But we'll see what happens. I may make a follow-up video to this. But this is Nino Brown Boxing. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, please.